Hello, everybody, and welcome back. As always, I am Mateo311, and this is your channel for everything VR related. Now, there's no weekly news this week because I'm currently away on vacation, but instead, I have a huge list of VR games releasing this June. There's 19 in total, and that's after I excluded a handful of App Lab titles, PC VR early access games, and anything from the upcoming highly anticipated meta gaming showcase that I obviously can't discuss just yet. There will be complete coverage of that event up immediately after it airs, so don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on if you're looking for a streamlined recap. All of today's titles will be listed chronologically by release date, and I've also included their release platforms. There's also a few surprise hints at the end of the video that you might not want to miss, and both links and timestamps have been included if you want to skip ahead, but before we jump in, this video is brought to you by VR Rock. VR Rock makes prescription lens inserts for all of your favorite VR headsets, and now they have them for the PlayStation VR 2. So if you've been struggling to get your eyeglasses to fit inside the headset, or you're afraid you might scratch the lens, these can be a great option. They magnetically connect, so they're easy to put on and take right back off. And if you're interested, I have a 10% discount code down in the description and a link to their webpage. Okay, so first up on today's list is Battle Talent. Now, if you're looking for a new physics-based fighting title to replace Blood and Sorcery, this game's definitely for you. It features procedurally generated dungeons, over 80 different enemy types, 100 weapons, 60 perks to unlock, a variety of different landscapes to explore, and even some epic boss battles. Now, I've jumped into a few early builds of this title, and it's been looking impressive from the very beginning, so now I'm extremely excited for the full release. But if puzzle titles are more your speed, we have We Are One. You'll get to team up with your greatest ally, yourself. This puzzle shooter features some mind-bending challenges that force you to clone yourself and create multiple time loops. It's a truly interesting mechanic that plays out in this beautifully vibrant, hand-drawn world. So if you find typical puzzles a bit boring, now you get to spice it up with time-bending and shooter mechanics. But it looks like there's something for everyone on today's list, as our next title focuses on stealth. Budget Cuts Ultimate Edition features both Budget Cuts 1 and 2, and now you get to sneak your way through this robot-infested world on both the Quest 2 and PlayStation VR 2. Budget Cuts is an absolutely fantastic classic VR title, featuring excellent stealth-based combat mechanics, an intriguing storyline, and some truly fun exploration. If you're new to VR and never had the pleasure of checking out budget cuts, I highly recommend you do it now. But if you're looking for a sports simulator, we have Tennis Esports. It's everything a tennis fan's looking for, simulating the look and feel of the real thing. You could start up some online matches, practice with some arcade target games, and finally try and take the high score on the global leaderboard. VR can do an excellent job of recreating reality, but if you're looking for an exotic location, we have no more rainbows. No More Rainbows is a brand new take on the classic platformer. You'll take on the role of a beast, rampaging through a rainbow-colored world, utilizing VR-specific locomotion mechanics. There's also a 3v3 multiplayer mode if you're looking for some competition. And while this game isn't exactly my style, I can't deny the fact that it sounds pretty fun. And speaking of not my style, the last title releasing on June 1st is Killer Frequency. It's a horror comedy where you take on the role of a late night DJ and your on-air calls become a matter of life and death. You'll have to solve puzzles to stop callers from being hunted down by a mysterious killer. As intriguing as this sounds, I don't think it's right for me. But I definitely want to check out our next title, Quantar. Quantar is a free-to-play, third-person competitive brawler that takes inspiration from fighting games like Smash Brothers and Street Fighter, but also MOBAs like League of Legends. There's a large array of different class-based heroes to choose from, multiple different gameplay modes, and even a social hub where you can hang out with your own customized avatar. Now, I played a really early build of this game almost two years ago, and it did show some promise, but needed a lot of work. As it stands right now, I have some really high hopes for this game, so maybe we could all team up for a battle in the near future. But the majority of my gameplay is usually in single player mode, and that's why I'm extremely excited for Undead Citadel. This is another physics-based adventure title where you'll be battling hordes of the undead. There's over 60 different hand-to-hand -hand combat weapons to utilize, plus some bows and other explosive ranged weapons. All of these items have unique attributes, giving them a very personalized feel as you battle across 10 different story mode levels, solving puzzles, and getting your hands on some epic treasure. There's also an endless horde mode with an online leaderboard, so you can show off just how badass you are, and you could also build up your armory over time and test it out in a sandbox mode. Undead Citadel is currently one of my most anticipated games, and I can't wait to jump into it. Now, for the racing sim fans out there, Formula One 2023 is getting a VR mode. This will be available exclusively for PC VR, and while it's not exactly the same type of racer, this could be PC's answer to Gran Turismo 7 on the PlayStation VR 2. Now, I'm not personally a big racing or sim fan, but I'm really curious to see what the VR community thinks of this game. Now, if you're just looking to have some fun, we have a nostalgic journey back to the days of Atari with Pixel Ripped 1978. Just like the rest of the Pixel Ripped series, it features some game inside a game madness. This time, you're taking 
taking on the role of a developer who has to physically enter her games in order to debug them. Now there's obviously a bit of Tron inspiration there and plenty of other nostalgia based game influences. The Pixel Rip series has always been a great time, so I'm definitely looking forward to their next title. But heading back a bit more towards reality, we have VR Skater. Officially making its debut on the PlayStation VR, you can now ollie your way through four distinct maps, plus two additional tutorial maps. The game's designed to take advantage of VR controls, allowing you to do a wide variety of skateboard tricks, and you can take to the streets trying to chase a high score, or go to the Skateboard Academy, learn all the tricks, and complete some challenges. So if you've ever wanted to learn to skateboard, but you're afraid of breaking a bone, now's your chance. Now, if Pixel Ripped wasn't enough nostalgia for you, we're returning to a classic 1980s arcade shooter with a VR remake of Operation Wolf. Operation Wolf Returns First Mission has been inspired by that classic arcade style, and it's nothing but non-stop action. Now, this title is set to release in both flat and VR modes, but they're yet to even give us a trailer, so I'm starting to feel a bit skeptical. I also don't have the biggest expectations because it looks and sounds like a mindless shooter, but we'll find out what happens later on in June. Now, if you'd rather engage in some online death frisbee, we have Stack. Taking place in a post-apocalyptic world, you'll be throwing a blade-filled disc at your opponents in both 1v1 and 2v2 online matches. Stack is aiming to be a fast-paced online sports title, and I'm definitely intrigued to see more from this game, but I'm not fully sold just yet. But a game I am sold on is VR's version of Dark Souls, Grimlord. This is a dark fantasy-themed action RPG that features both physics-based combat and an extreme challenge. There's a beautiful and highly immersive world to explore, which features the soul style map looping, plus there's a wide variety of enemies, plus a large amount of customization and combat styles. So finally, there's something for all the VR RPG fans to play. But if you want your RPGs to be a bit more erotic, we have Aragon. YouTube, please don't demonetize this video. As the game's theme page states, Aragon is an erotic RPG with a story about magical girls, elves, and a bisexual sorceress. Now, both that description and the trailer makes me blush, so I don't think I'd ever be able to play this game. But if you are still interested, it includes five romance routes, interactive experiences with your love interests, different outfits, voice acting, motion captured animations, a dynamic combat system, and that's me doing this in my sexy announcer voice. Okay, I'm sure a couple of you guys died on the inside, so let's go ahead and move on to Deadhook. Deadhook is a roguelike shooter with some fast-paced locomotion and mechanics inspired by classic arena shooters. It looks a bit like Spider-Man meets Doom with its acrobatics and brutal combat, plus the game features a captivating storyline, or at least Joyway claims it does. Now, I'm definitely looking forward to trying out this game because it is in part a reskinned version of Joyway's previous title, Outlier, but I definitely enjoy this title's new direction much more. And that right there was 19 brand new games, but I did promise you guys a few little secret hints. For starters, some previously announced games like Hubris and Signifier should be releasing in the near future. There's no publicly available release date just yet, but if you're interested in a beautifully detailed, story-driven action-adventure title, keep an eye out for Hubris. Or if you prefer more of a mystery title with some trippy world altering puzzles, the signifier should also be available in the near future. Now, there's also at least three other games that have not been announced just yet. And finally, I think you guys can start to get your hopes up for Meta's gaming showcase. My super streamlined recap will be up immediately after their live stream. But until then, go ahead and leave a comment on what you expect to see from that show. And also, what was your favorite upcoming release from today's video? And that was today's video brought to you by my dad, Mateo311. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. Consider, su consider subscribing. And consider subscribing. Consider subscribing. Consider subscribing. <laughs> 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 we'll see you guys on next time we'll see you guys on next time